tonight that this is the work of higher powers trying to ensure I don't win a Nairobi governorship. That was the reaction of Nairobi Governor Dr. Ivan Skidero after his name appeared in the list of 106 aspirants submitted by the Anti-Corruption uh, anti Commission to the electoral body IBC. Skidero, his opponent Mike Sonko, Governors Mwangi Wairia and Suspita Ojamong are among the 16 top governors listed as facing either court cases or investigations over integrity issues. The IBC now says that it is waiting for more guidance on whether to bar those in the ESCC list from contesting in the August election, as Duncan Kayamba now reports. On Friday evening, IEBC released a statement confirming having received the red list from the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission and that cases facing the 106 individuals are at different stages from investigation, prosecution to conviction. Casualty number one who IBC resolved that should be barred from participating in next elections was Chitavi Anthony Mkala, who was eyeing Mombasa County gubernatorial seat. Me a nomination at 4 o'clock and cancelled it at uh, 7 o'clock in the night. Uh, granted, yes, there was uh, some case that went on in... Uh, 2010, 2011, and uh, that case uh, got a conviction. I got an appeal thereafter, and uh, the case is still in court. Other heavyweights in the red are Nairobi County top contenders, flamboyant Senator Mike Sonko and Governor Ivan Skidero, who are battling for the governor's seat. Skidero claims ESCC has an ulterior motive. We are playing politics. Because in the first place, two weeks, three weeks ago, I got my letter of clearance from ECC. I got my letter of clearance from KRA, and I got clearance, um, a certificate of good conduct from CID. So to come around and start saying that there are issues of uh, issues of integrity, that's being cheeky. Sonko is facing allegations of interfering with public officers carrying out their duties at the Mtuapa Way Bridge. While for Kidero it is abuse of office, money laundering among other claims. I do not have any investigations going on that I'm aware of. Uh, neither have I been charged uh, in a court of law. And according to the, uh, to, to the uh, fair administration of justice, if, there's an, if you have an issue or if you're being investigated, you need to be told and you need to be served. And such has not been done on me. Other leaders blacklisted by ESCC are Machako's governor, Dr. Alfred Mtua, who faces abuse of office allegations, and Jubilee's Kirinyaga governorship candidate, Anne Mombi Waiguru, who is accused of embezzlement and misappropriation of public funds, in addition to the report ESCC has received from the Public Accounts Committee recommending that the candidate be barred from holding public office if found guilty. We knew that there was nothing legally to stop us from being cleared and uh, this certificate is proof of the same and therefore we are very, very grateful that we have gone through this hurdle and we are looking forward to a good campaign time. Also on the chopping board is Busia boss of Peter Odeke Ojamongson, who faces three allegations, among them influencing a word of a tender to install solar lights in Busia town. Meru Governor Peter Munya's crime is abuse of office and misuse of public funds amounting to 429,000 shillings. Siaya Governor Cornel Rasanga is accused of conflict of interest and procuring air tickets for family members, occasioning a loss of 8 million shillings. For the parliamentary race, those who risk being barred are woman representative candidates Gladys Sholei from Wasin Gishu, accused of abuse of office. Gure Shukran Hussein, who is accused of being a holder of both Kenyan and American citizenship, which he has not declared. While Benedict Wangu Inganga, who is a sister to Nairobi woman Reprecho Shebesh, is facing allegations of not having complied with the submission of annual declaration income, assets and liabilities for 2015. Tushikane pamoja, kwa sababu nasa sinchezo, 
Nandi Hills Member of Parliament Alfred Keter was found culpable and charged with creating disturbance at our bridge. Siku ya kupiga kura si hapa na wajinga. Kura mia ya kwanza, the hundred, the first hundred votes tutaangalia. Pia tutakuwa tumeangalia watu wetu tukisema signal ndio hiyo, eh, tutaambia hawa hata nayo sio nyinyi ndio mnajua kupiga kura pekee, hata sisi tunajua kupiga kura. While his capsaret counterpart Oscar Sudi also has a pending court case after being accused of falsifying academic certificates and submitting a false declaration during the 2013 general election. Homa Bay Town MP Peter Kaluma has a pending court case of engaging in fighting in a public forum. Nominated Senator Joy Gwendo Adhiambo, who is seeking Kisumu East parliamentary seat, is facing allegations of misappropriating 2.26 million raised during a harambe for a cooperative society, with ESC investigations having established culpability on her part. Senator Elizabeth Ongoro too is in the red, facing three charges among them, being involved in irregular payment of 32 million shillings for construction of a school and also being involved in violence in Ruaraka in March 2017. Ongoro's opponent TJ Kajuang is accused of abuse of office for facilitating double employment and double salary for an officer working at the Ruaraka constituency office. 37 candidates seeking to be elected as MCAs have also been exposed before IABC. Duncan Hemba, KTN News.